Hey guys, this is Awesome Giants PS3 doing another episode of my FIFA 11 manager mode with Bolton Wanderers. Um, yeah, uh, last time this well, this video and the last one before it took quite a long time to edit and make the clips and upload. So if you could give me some feedback and just generally anything to show me that this video isn't a waste of time because it does take a long time to upload. So anyway, I hope you enjoy and some feedback would be appreciated. Thank you. Bolton started the better of the two teams with Almanda threw out on goal, but he was wasteful and shot way over the bar. Next it was Davies, struggling off two defenders, but his effort flew narrowly just over the bar. Bolton were tight at the back two, blocking a Mikel Arteta free kick. But on the 52nd minute Bolton finally got their goal when Almanda and Davies played a neat 1-2 and setting Davies free. Davies then coolly finished by a stranded Tim Howard. Everton almost got an equaliser when, when Sahar's headed effort was saved well by Juicy Jasko Lyon. El Manda could have wrapped it up for Bolton in the last minute as Muamba pulled it across, but the effort went well over. The match ended 1 0 to Bolton. Next up for Bolton Wanderers was table topping Chelsea, with Bolton looking f to build upon their 1 0 win over Everton. Lampard had the best chance of the start, angling a header just wide of the post. Then it was Knight who missed a great opportunity, directing the ball high and wide. Wilshere almost gave Bolton a lead before half time with another header, but yet again missing. Chelsea got off to the better start of the half, with Ivanovic shooting just over from a, a Maluda corner. Ivan Klasnic almost gave Bolton something to shout about, beating the Chelsea back line, but Czech saved his effort well. But in the last kick of the game, Chelsea finally got their goal. After some resilient Bolton defending and several attempted clearances, Yuri Zhirkov smashed it into an open goal after hitting the crossbar. Bolton's next game is Arsenal away, which is not the easiest place to go to after a demoralising loss to Chelsea in the last minute. Bolton started off the game lively, Jack Wilshire almost getting a goal against his parent club by hitting the crossbar and then Almanda's volleyed effort being saved by Al Munya. Arsenal then started off their attack with Sami Nasri being played through on goal but then missing an easy chance to tap in. El Manda then struck at the Arsenal goal, but Almunia denied him well. Arsenal were wasteful again as Ashwin spurred another chance to put Arsenal in the lead. But just after half time Arsenal finally got their goal, Van Persie finishing beautifully with two defenders left in his wake. Oh, 
the full time score was 1 0 to Arsenal. The man of the match was Tim Cahill. Um, I apologise for this clip, um, it appears my recorder wasn't working properly, but the match ends 1-0 uh, to Bolton. The man of the match was El Manda. Bolton Wanderers' next match was Aston Villa away. Aston Villa got off to a great start, with Agbon Lahore running through on, on goal, but Gary Cahill took down the Villa man and received his marching orders just 12 minutes in, into the start. Downing then converted the penalty and put Villa into the lead. Bolton's exuberance for an equaliser was untold as Zack Knight ran the full width of the pitch, taking on three defenders and then just being denied by Paul Robinson. But Bolton finally got their equaliser. After some nice build up play, El Mamanda turned the last man and calmly slotted past Robinson. The full time result was Aston Villa 1, Bolton Wanderers 1. The man of the match was Juicy Jaskalainen. Bolton's next match was away to Blackpool. Bolton got off to a brilliant start, Amanda taking it around the defence and passing it across to Davies. The England born hitman doesn't miss from that range. Bolton then doubled their lead only eight minutes after scoring their first, Amanda using some clever footwork and finishing beautifully. Bolton got their third on only the 28th minute. After passing around the 18-yard box, Petrov smashed in his fourth goal of the campaign with a long-distance strike. At half-time, it was Blackpool nil. Bolton 3. But after the break Bolton looked fragile as O'Brien took down ground and just outside the 18 yard box, the last man challenge earned him a red card and an early shower. Kevin Davies almost wrapped up the game with a fourth but Gilks prevented Davies getting a second and saved his team's blushes. But in the last 10 minutes, Grandin got his team a consolation with a good finish from close range. The full-time result was 3-1 to Bolton Wanderers. The man of the match was Johan Almanda.